Karva Mini. There is no possibility of once becoming a yogi or arjuna if one eats too much or eats too little, sleeps too much or does not sleep enough. Now Krishna is mentioning further regulations do's and don'ts in yoga. There is no possibility of doing yoga if one eats too much or too little. That is why and further Another understanding is what is too much eating not just quantity but also variety It is not required to kill animals if we simply want to maintain our body and soul together for the purpose of attaining doing yoga So eating animals is also called excess eating or overeating unnecessary we should not cause harm to living entities who are highly conscious If somebody cuts our hand we feel pain we are giving pain to them also If you kill the calf, cow keeps on crying always, feels very bad. Just like a mother loses a child, they also have feelings. So why to give so much unnecessary trouble to other living entities simply for satisfying the taste which can be satisfied by a uh, very healthy consumption of natural food in which killing is not involved. So if you want to practice yoga, such regulation is very important. Na ashna tashtu yoga asti. A person cannot do yoga if he overeats. if eats more quantity or more variety which is not required just to keep body and soul together and if eat less then also it is not possible if somebody eats less than it is told in the ayurveda they will get tuberculosis and if they eat more then they will get diabetes so regulation in eating is important and regulation in sleep is also important yes we have to minimize our eating and sleeping but not artificially but gradually The more we advance in the process of spiritual life, the more realization awakens. I am not the body; the desires of the body gradually mitigate. But artificially, it should not be done. As much as the body requires, we should fulfill to that extent. So that is why it is being recommended in the Vedas: one should eat at fixed times. The fixed amount, the amount recommended for yogi is fifty percent should be filled with solid food. Suppose you eat chapatis or bread, and you are full by eating 6 chapatis then you eat 3 that is called 50% solid and 25% should be filled with liquid we can have some liquid in our food or we can have water and then 25% should be left for air circulation in this way we'll be able to keep our body free from all the diseases and if our diet is controlled then we need not practice any gymnastics or other things shila prabhupada explains we will be fit simply by controlling the diet so so many other exercises asanas pranayams are mentioned for people who cannot digest their food so if we are regulation if we have regulation in controlling our tongue then a person can maintain very good health simply we have to eat on time sleep on time get up on time by controlling our tongue and having a very regulated disciplined life anybody can maintain his health very nicely but this regulation is important further lord krishna explains four kinds of regulations in order to mitigate all stress of life using yoga krishna explains yukta har viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmasu yukta swapnav bodhasya yogo bhavati dukha he who is temperate in his habits of eating sleeping working and recreation can mitigate all material pains by practicing the yoga system so any yoga we are following even we are following bhakti yoga we are chanting the names of god sometimes the devotees miss this part that we have to have regulation great discipline in our life if we want even material happiness we need to have great discipline in our life If we are disciplined in all our activities of eating, sleeping, making, mating, talking, then we'll be happy. Material miseries will not touch us. So Krishna mentions specially four kinds of regulations, and they are yukt ahar. Ahar means diet. What Krishna has mentioned in the previous verse, it is very important. And among the diet also, what kind of diet we should take? That we discussed in thirteenth verse of third chapter. What is that? कृष्णा मेंशंस भुंजन्ते ते त्वघम पापा ये पचन्ति आत्म कारणार्थ यज्ञ शिष्टाशिना संतो वच्चन्ते सर्वकिल विषय वन शुड ईट ओनली फूड व्हिच इज 
offered to Krishna that becomes spiritualized in its effect and then the force of material nature prakritim cha hatau jasam it does not affect us it keeps on reducing the more we take prasadam so the food which is offered to krishna under the guidance of spiritual master or which is offered in the yagya now in kali yuga it is not possible that food becomes spiritually surcharged and by taking that food a person remains away from the influence of material energy and one is able to think of god always so first of all one should take only prasadam if one wants to advance in spiritual life and another regulation the scriptures mention in eating is doing fasting that is also very important for spiritual advancement of life and also for keeping the body fit fasting is very important especially twice in a month a person is supposed to fast that is the 11th day of waxing and waning moon which is technically called ekadashi so on two ekadashis the 11 days of the fortnight person is supposed to fast minimum and then there are various other days of appearance uh, of god disappearance also of various spiritual masters as guided by the scriptures we are supposed to perform this this fasting is very important for spiritual growth and for controlling the senses if we control our tongue then all other senses automatically come under control if we fast other senses don't agitate us much then yukta vihar the recreation or the process of producing progeny procreation should also be regulated that is called yukta vihar and then yukta cheshtasya karmasu so after regulating your recreation procreation next thing is karmasu one should not work very hard work also should be regulated people think if i work very hard then i can increase my opulence in life this is a wrong understanding as it happens in our jobs also once we have got a designation our salary is fixed till next appraisal now if you perform very nicely in the next appraisal uh, we'll have more salary it will be increased similarly it is told in the vedas as per the activities what we are doing now in this life our future opulence is getting decided so as soon as we take birth our opulence is fixed as per destiny now what is the meaning of fixed just like our salary is fixed in our office we have to at least attend the office but even if you work very hard for that year it will not be changed it's not possible so for this life we cannot change it even though we work very very hard and how we increase our opulence by following the path of religion that is why the scriptures mention dharm arth kaam and moksha if you want to have arth more wealth in your life you have to follow dharma first of all otherwise without following dharma we may appear to be accumulating more wealth one person can see direct correlation i work more over time i get extra money but no that money will not stay with us we are destined to enjoy a certain amount of opulence if we accumulate more money either the disease will take it away or some legal fees will take it away or the thieves will take it away or our other members of family will enjoy but we personally will not be able to enjoy our opulence is fixed so that is why person should not work very hard krishna has mentioned here yukta karmasu anyway what you are going to get by regulated work when shrimad bhagavatam it is mentioned maximum 8 hours a person should spend in his vocational duties job business whatever you are doing then balance time should be spent for spiritual activity this is called regulation if somebody sleeps okay destiny means it will happen automatically so vedas tell no nahi suptasya singhasya pravishanti mukhe magra tiger is sleeping and thinking i am powerful rabbit will enter my mouth it is not going to happen so sleeping is not recommended neither slogging is recommended regulated work maximum 8 hours then destiny will unfold its course so regulation in eating regulation in recreation regulation in endeavor and yukta swapna avabodhasya yogo bhavati dukkah sleeping also has to be regulated what is regulated sleeping so that body is refreshed so again we can engage itself in the service of krishna so for a healthy person 6 hours of sleep is sufficient we should not sleep more than 6 hours if we are requiring more sleep in our current situation that means we are very heavily influenced by the modes of ignorance tamoguna 
So we should try to minimize gradually by regulating our diet and our work. We'll be able to do it. So it should be brought to not more than six hours at night and we should sleep early and get up early in the morning. Getting up in Brahm Muhurta. Brahm Muhurta, Muhurta is a period of around 48 minutes and Brahm Muhurta begins 90 minutes before sunrise. So that Muhurta, we are expected to get up and practice uh, our spiritual practices in that time. And the most important spiritual practice for this age Kali Yuga, as Lord Krishna has and will recommend is chanting of his holy names. So this should be performed in the Brahm Murta when we get up. And that is good for our health as well. And anything, if we read books, scriptures at that time, it will be five times more effective. So initially we may feel sleepy because the body has not been trained nicely, but we have to train for spiritual advancement and to keep away even material diseases. So sleep early and get up early in the morning in the Brahm Murta time. And if required, Maximum one hour should be spent in the daytime for sleep, not more than that. Otherwise, these are sciences. Otherwise, again, we'll come under the mode of ignorance. Sometimes we may wonder, I am even though I have taken two hours of rest in the daytime or three hours more rest, still I'm feeling lazy. I drag myself because we have been uh, under the influence of Tamaguna. A tamasic person will feel always, always a tamasic person will feel always lazy and uh, heaviness will be there, enthusiasm will not be there. So do not sleep more than one hour in the daytime, that is optional. So in this way one should regulate these four activities, Ahar, Vihar, Cheshta and Swapna. 